title enhancing decision making for management information uh, system course chapter 10 in your syllabus uh, in this uh, chapter uh, i'm supposed to make you uh, understand a uh, few learning objectives uh, among others uh, i need to explain uh, there are uh, different different types of decision and how a uh, decision making process is being made by us and i'm supposed to explain to you how information system could support the activity for managers in order for them to make effective decision and uh, business intelligence and uh, business analytics uh, are part of this uh, method of enhancing decision making in which uh, the half segment of my lecture will be explained and I need to explain also on a few different types of decision making constituencies or areas in which uh, managers use business intelligence and I need to describe the role of uh, information system uh, for uh, helping uh, managers to work in a group so that they can decide more effectively. So uh, basically, uh, nowadays, you make decision partly, partially, uh, whether you realize or not, by uh, being assisted by IT system. For example, uh, you are traveling from uh, Batu Pahat to Johor Bahru. Perhaps you are uh, assessing ways so that you can gauge uh, which uh, route is faster, uh, which route is uh, basically less jam uh, to follow, or which route is uh, uh, cost you the least when you take the route to go to Johor Bahru, for example. So those are part of typical uh, life situation in which you make decision partly or uh, supported by an IT system. Okay, decision making and information system. Uh, this is uh, basically to uh, increase the value for your decision. Because uh, almost uh, every day you make a uh, small, small decision. For example, uh, what time uh, you have to wake up, uh, what kind of uh, transportation you want to go to uh, class, what kind of shoes you would like to wear, what kind of clothing you would like to wear. So in other words, small, small decision will add up uh, to a big or large uh, decision resulting in the large value. For example, uh, <clears throat> small decisions that you make every day that end up contributing to a large uh, value uh, by end of the month. For example, the food that uh, you take every day. So if you decide for every day, you would like to take uh, fast food like KFC, McDonald's, or like uh, Pizza Hut, uh, Domino's Pizza for that kind of food. So those small decisions, uh, perhaps you need to spend 40 or 50 ringgit per day. So in uh, uh, in one month, uh, basically, uh, you will have to spend uh, 1,500 per month for your food. But if you uh, decide to take small decision every day, uh, you uh, eat like uh, nasi champo or at restaurant mama. So perhaps every day you only spend around uh, 10 ringgit. So end up for one month, you just merely spend about... Uh, 300 ringgit Malaysia. So those are the small decision every day that uh, ending up uh, to the large value by end of the month. So those are decision. Decision uh, can be uh, typically classified under uh, unstructured, uh, structured, or semi-structured. Those are uh, three uh, typical classes of decision that uh, we make every day. So, for example, uh, for the unstructured uh, decision, uh, perhaps this is uh, uh, to decide where uh, you want to eat uh, this uh, lunchtime. Structured decision, perhaps what kind of uh, what kind of uh, I would I would say like uh, clothing uh, you would like to wear for uh, Hari Raya, for example. So, and uh, semi-structured decision, perhaps uh, what kind of vehicle you would like to buy 
for your transportation from hostel uh, to campus and going balik kampung perhaps you are considering to buy uh, to buy a car so you have to structure the decision which car is the best that fit your budget so those are typical decision that normally people do in their uh, in their life and if we take a look on at uh, the IT information system level of course uh, these are decision that will be made by managers managers use information system uh, to make uh, accurate and effective decision for their businesses so among others are operational managers middle managers and senior managers so let's take a look on how decision making are made by using information system for example the operational managers uh, normally uh, they are basically making structured uh, structured decision for example uh, which customer uh, meet the credit line so that we can supply so uh, supply goods uh, to them for example these are operational managers at the level of like uh, customer service manager for middle managers normally like a branch manager Normally, they make a, a quite a more structured decision for their organization, for their business by using the IT system. For example, why is the order uh, uh, report showing decline in the area of uh, Parit Raja in the past six months? So, managers has to decide what are the major cause or major uh, contributing factor by using data in the IT system so that they can know the actual reason. Senior managers, normally uh, they make uh, much more unstructured decision. For example, related to uh, investment, uh, related to whether they should enter new market or open up new outlet, for example. So those decisions normally made by the CEO and the managing director of a company because it is a high level decision and it costs uh, bigger expenses uh, to the organization. So let's take a look at uh, one video clip uh, related to IT based company that are handling uh, grocery supplies. They don't call it a grocery company, uh, Fresh Direct, they call it a food internet company. See what they have to say regarding their information system in supplying groceries to their customers. is the leading online grocer uh, serving the New York metropolitan area. We think of ourselves as a food tech company. Uh, what that means is we're using technology to enable great food services to our customers. We source right from farms and local produce markets to sell to our customers. We provide really high quality food that the customers really want. So like any other online company, you go online, you fill your market basket, you pick all the items that you want, and then we'll deliver for you the very next day. So we operate within two hour delivery windows. So each day we, uh, we load our trucks, we go out and make deliveries, we provide great customer service, and uh, it's all based on our online partner. Technology plays a very important role in our company. We're, we are an internet company, and uh, you know all our customers uh, you know, look for our service through online, through our website. So technology is what drives this company, and it's also what drives our fleet. We chose Intelligence Platform other, over other services uh, because of what they had to offer us in the way of sensor uh, accessibility. Uh, we not only monitor our drivers for harsh braking, harsh acceleration and other safety uh, features. We also look at food safety. So we monitor the temperature of the refrigerator box that we have, uh, when the refrigeration unit is running, when it's not running, when the rear door is open. So we monitor driver safety and food safety. What Telgis has done is it's enabled us to monitor the temperatures on our trucks while they're out on the street. Right, so we go from a perfect warehouse to a perfect truck and maintain it through the cold chain, and it really provides great quality food for the customer. Think about going to your traditional grocery store, right? You'll walk around, there's freezer aisles, there's refrigerated aisles, and there's your dry good aisles, right? But it's really not meant for the quality of the food. It's more for the customer to get what they want. We designed our warehouse and our production facility for the quality of the food. So everything's refrigerated, it's all kept at the right temperatures all the time, and there's no break in that cold chain. The way we use Telegis in the safety reporting is allowing us to almost be in the vehicle with our drivers. We're in there now, we can see what's happening with them all day long. So we know now if drivers are partially accelerating, partially braking, all those sort of safety metrics. We now know real time what's going on with our fleet and we can make sure that our drivers are safe. We've been using the Telegis platform uh, live since April of uh, 2014 and 
it's getting better every day. And uh, there's more and more people using it, and the benefits that we're getting out of it are growing every day. Okay, very well. We have seen the uh, how uh, how do the food internet company by the name of Fresh Direct in the uh, United States of America implement uh, the logis system, IT system, in order to supply groceries uh, to their customers from the uh, deliverer or lorry uh, uh, driver. Uh, to the system manager who handle the IT system and to the director, they are all using uh, the same common system in order to make best decision uh, to make delivery of groceries to their customer. So this is how uh, decision making are made uh, by relying on information system like the uh, theologies. Okay, if we take a look on the decision characteristic and example of decision by the three layer of managers, for example, senior managers, middle managers, and operational managers. Well, uh, you can see that these three layers are making different, different type of decision by being supported by an information system. For example, in the retailing industry, on operational uh, manager, for example, uh, like a stock manager, they will determine uh, what is the uh, level to restock the inventory. Uh, they will determine what kind of uh, credit you could offer to customer. So these are the first uh, layer of decision made by perhaps store manager. For middle manager, normally uh, they are dealing with uh, a much more structured uh, the decision. Like for example, they will be uh, making plan for marketing. They are making budget for the month or for the year for, for their department. So they are basing their decision also based on information system like Oracle or SAP in order that they can make a, a important and yet accurate decision. For the senior managers, uh, for example, so they also have to make decision at their level. For example, uh, to, uh, uh, to decide to enter new market, so approve for new budget for expansion or maybe opening new branch or new outlet at different cities or different town okay so these are uh, the suggested four stages of decision making process so it requires the first stage is to do some kind of intelligence uh, discovering information ident identifying uh, resources understand the real problem that occur in each organization that is on the intelligence part the second part is the design uh, for identifying and exploring for possible solution. And the st uh, third stage is uh, the choice available, uh, the best choice available among the solution and its alternative. And the last part is uh, to make the decision uh, work by implementing the decision that has been made. For example, if you were uh, to decide to uh, enter UTHM perhaps two or three years ago, of course, you do these four stages of decision-making process. You do the uh, background uh, of, uh, of a course at UTHM or perhaps at other, uh, other universities at uh, UTM or at UUM. So you do this sort of intelligence. From there, you have to design what courses or uh, what kind of option is available for you to choose from. Perhaps you are more interested in studying management uh, uh, in the orientation of indust uh, industry environment. So that's why you somehow focusing either UTHM or UTEM for your choice uh, to design for the solution. And ultimately, you make the best uh, choice. For example, UTHM, perhaps due to proximity with your hometown or perhaps your past uh, family member ha had studied at UTHM. And then you uh, fill up the UPU forms or online and you put UTHM as the first choice. That's why you implement uh, the decision uh, and put it into the system of application. So these four stages are commonly done for managers also in organization to make decision doing the intelligence, design the solution or option available, and then you consider for choices of the best solution and also alternative, and then you make the final decision to move on with your work. 
So stages of making decision are basically from intelligence, uh, this intelligence, and then uh, you go to uh, design, and then go to choice, and then implementation. So, okay. So at in intelligence level, basically, uh, you are trying to discover the problem. So, for example, what is the real problem for your situation? Okay, these are the uh, basically the stage. Okay, your problem is uh, here, which is at the uh, intelligence level. For example, uh, you want to meet uh, digitally uh, through internet uh, with your friends discussion discussing about the uh, best way or method uh, to do video conferencing right so in video conferencing then what kind of solution discovery is uh, possible right perhaps you could uh, use skype okay which is uh, quite already many years uh, in the market you could use also option video conferencing system like uh, google meet Right, or you could uh, use uh, another new options like uh, software video conferencing link like Zoom. So from those three options, you gauge which one is the best solution, right? Perhaps uh, perhaps Skype has been in the uh, market has been quite long. Uh, Skype requires uh, registration, and sometimes Skype uh, has a problem with kind of lagging in terms of voice and also video. So that is part of the constraint uh, for Skype. Uh, Google Meet. Google Meet is uh, free. Uh, so it is uh, one of the options which is available in your consideration. And somehow it is uh, under Google Group. So perhaps it has uh, better exposure. Or perhaps you could use uh, Zoom. Zoom is the latest uh, video conferencing software available in the internet. Uh, Zoom is uh, quite fast uh, at certain kind of parameter, like after a uh, few times using, uh, they have limitation, like 40 minutes and so on. So you consider those options. Perhaps after considering some option uh, features by the university, so perhaps you ultimately decide for the best solution for video conferencing software system for your uh, project meeting with your friends. So perhaps in this case, you may choose uh, Google Hangout Meet software in order to do your video conferencing for your project team. So then everybody uh, agree on the uh, solution that has been uh, decided, which is Google Meet. And then you all uh, start in installing Google Meet in your desktop or in your smartphone in order to execute the discussion, right? So these are the common stages in decision making that normally uh, most managers do in their uh, business organization. Okay, Re you realize it or not? Uh, basically, information system uh, can only assist, only assist managers to make decision. Uh, they are actually uh, not influencing the overall decision, but they give the tips. Uh, information trends so that decision can be made by managers. Well, of course, uh, managers uh, make a uh, decision uh, and function in the form of like uh, they do the planning, they do, uh, they do the organizing of the activity, they coordinate the activity, uh, they make decision. So these are part of the item that uh, we are discussing and they control the resources, uh, the uh, manpower available to execute the job. However, uh, in the contemporary behavioral model, uh, actual behaviors of a manager, uh, actually it is uh, kind of less systematic. Uh, I would say it is a bit more informal and uh, it's more towards uh, they do more reactive. Uh, they do it with they take reaction based on the situation. Those are what manager do and how manager make decision every day in their working organization. According to uh, <clears throat> management scientist uh, Minsberg, uh, managers uh, normally perform uh, these uh, ten managerial roles uh, in uh, in the in the category of uh, interpersonal. 
in the category of informational roles and also decisional roles, right? Perhaps in the IT uh, information uh, system management, we are more discussing uh, towards the uh, decisional role because manager make decision by the assistance of information system. So first manager uh, provides uh, the role of uh, as interpersonal in which uh, they are uh, communicating with uh, their subordinate. So they are the head or the boss and they lead the group and they also deal between subordinate to subordinate or between groups uh, to another group under their department. Managers also uh, disseminate information. So they, because manager normally receive the uh, key information from the big boss, for example, from the regional manager or from the CEO or the MD. So it uh, act as the nerve uh, center for the department. And after receiving the information, of course, he or she need to digest it and later they uh, distribute the information as a disseminator and leader normally speaks well so that they can manage the group or influence the group and give direction uh, give right direction uh, for their subordinate on top of that uh, managers uh, normally uh, make decision decisional roles because they must think as if the business unit or the department it is as if their own business that is what entrepreneur is all about they must uh, concern on the profit and loss of their decision. They must uh, consider the income and the expenses that they need to pay. That is what the entrepreneur do because they treat uh, the business process as, as if uh, like their company. As manager, they need also to uh, convert problem. They need, uh, they need to handle, uh, I would say, uh, misunderstanding. Uh, perhaps grievances uh, from the subordinates. So manager also give out resources, for example, manpower, time, tools, equipment. And as manager, you does uh, need to negotiate uh, with your uh, subordinate, with your superior also, you need to negotiate. So this is what mostly manager leader do. For example, your group leader. So they uh, do have the interpersonal role they do have the informational role and they do have the decision to make, right? By communicating to lecturers and so on. So these are what managers do, okay? And how does it uh, relate to IT? So manager make decision whether to invest uh, in new IT system. Normally it costs uh, the company very big, right new it system normally cost 1 million 3 millions and so on so the uh, argument is that why some um, it project investment fail to produce positive result right so for example you are investing uh, around uh, five or six million of oracle system into the company and you are the uh, it manager of the company so why that investment for five and six million uh, normally does not produce good result for the company first of all big system like oracle it requires integration between old system to new system so in order to integrate uh, this uh, two system which is the legacy system the old system with the new system so you must have a higher quality integration from the old to new one so in order to integrate the old system to new system, you need a higher quality information. For example, like specification, the raw data, the expected output, those are the required uh, information in order to merge to become a new system. Okay. So second uh, challenge is basically the management uh, filter. Like management filter, managers have to select few attention and uh, normally uh, manager bias towards their department for example production manager normally they give priority to production only purchasing manager they give priority and they buy, uh, they would be more biased towards purchasing and so on so these kind of preferences and bias uh, 
considering less uh, towards the ultimate object objective of installing uh, the new ERP system like Oracle. So will contribute uh, to the uh, difficulty in merging the old system towards the new system. Well, people say that most people resist change. Why? Of course, changing into new IT system, there are some resistance from the managers too, from the engineers and from the supervisor because they get used to the old system. So those people who are resisting, normally the uh, one of the difficult hindrance that uh, organization face when trying to implement uh, change uh, by changing uh, into a new IT system in their organization. Decision making and uh, information system, basically a certain uh, decision making uh, uh, are depending less on human. And these are considered on uh, high velocity uh, decision or automated decision, normally done by software. Actually, software make decision is based by a logic, uh, logic flow or by logic control. They call it this as algorithm or the formula. So the computer decide uh, from the given input data. So they process it into certain formula, calculation or algorithm or the logic flow, and then they decide the final output. So actually in this high velocity automatic decision making, less and less human intervention is needed. Uh, perhaps when, uh, when the system programmer already programmed uh, the, uh, the system and system analyst has proof uh, that it will work as per design, then Technically, we don't need human intervention uh, in running the, uh, the information system. So high-speed computer trading like uh, in Brusa, Malaysia, like Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange, those are the high-speed or high-velocity automated decision-making in which prices of share is being calculated automatically by a computer uh, based on the input that they get from the environment, for example, from the competitor, from the new contract being award. So basically, uh, calculation is done very fast as fast as like uh, trading between company to company for shares uh, is done at 30 millisecond uh, kind of uh, speed in making decision. Business intelligence in the enterprise, uh, well, normally companies, especially big companies, they engage a few specific software uh, to do the business intelligence. Intelligence by means is that all data transaction like point of sales, uh, like a customer, like a supplier, all these data are collected and stored at database, analyzed with certain particular software uh, like Oracle or SAP and to produce the report as a business result. So all this data exists in the database warehouse or at data maps. In business analytics, this is more on the calculation and analyzing uh, the, from the raw data in the, uh, in the first part from the business intelligence. So we use certain tools, technique to analyze data in order to do prediction, forecasting or analyzing trends by using software, for example, like Hadoop, uh, for example, like uh, IBM Cognos in order to uh, propose a strategy or proposed direction for future decision making. So there are many business intelligence vendor like IT supply, uh, uh, IT system company supply software for companies uh, to analyze their data uh, for, for making a better prediction for future. So let's uh, take a look on um, Cincinnati Zoo how do they make use of data from the visitor visiting zoo uh, and visiting the animals and analyze their purchase? How do they make use of the data so that they can uh, perform a better business operation? channels, 
at the turnstiles. At a retail point of sale. At a food point of sale. And other various touch points around your attraction. Seize these opportunities to capture information and use it to your advantage. Here are just a few examples of how BI can be applied. Identify low spenders and target them with a promotion to increase their spending. Identify visitors with low attendance and get them to visit just one extra time. Monitor cashier activity to help improve their performance through training or sales incentives. Receive text alerts to notify you of low sales at a particular location so you can adjust staffing. Predict attendance based on historical trends and weather forecasts to optimize your labor spend and prepare to deliver the best guest experience. Okay, just now you have seen the Cincinnati Zoo. How do they make use of their BI, business intelligence, in order, in order to do promotion, in, in order to increase uh, the next visit and so on. So basically from the data, you can uh, analyze it. Uh, you can uh, make use of the data in order to target certain segment in which that it needs better decision. For, for example, in, in the zoo, uh, there are many items being sold as souvenirs and so on. So if the items uh, being sold are low, so uh, you could target which uh, which category of product uh, is being bought less by visitor. Then uh, from there, you could decide to initiate discount or promotion in order to push up the sale uh, to be higher. So that's how manager make use of data compiled by the computers and by the software so that they can make proper decision to uh, correct the situation. Basically, business intelligence and analyt uh, analytics uh, are needed for uh, making uh, accurate decision. So all uh, these are the diagrams showing the linkage between uh, BI infrastructure, which is business intelligence, and the BA, uh, the analytic uh, software tool set. And here is the manager making decision for strategy, making better decision to enhance their performance, uh, forecasting, and also investment. So basically, all come from here, which is the data or the input uh, coming from the purchase, the call center, the website, mobile, uh, suppliers, and also perhaps uh, government employees, all these are providing as a uh, raw data to the database. And in the database, it is uh, will be categorized into warehouses or data mats, so classified under business intelligence uh, infrastructure. And then uh, the next stage is they use all the data inside the databases, warehouse and mats, uh, they run it on a particular software in terms of statistical model or data mining software or, or all that online analytical processing uh, in order to uh, uh, produce uh, better value in the form of perhaps uh, production report, dashboard, uh, trend projection and so on. So from this uh, analy analy analytical tool set output, so managers will use the output in order to engage for better strategy. 
a better strategy, perhaps to uh, face the upcoming holiday season, or perhaps better strategy to pre get prepared before the uh, disaster strike, perhaps typhoon or flooding and so on. So from there, manager make use of certain technique, for example, balance scorecard, forecasting, uh, perfect for investment. So all this can be done within the platform of management information system, MIS or decision support system, DSS or executive information system, EIS. So the interfacing is, uh, is basically uh, in the form of dashboard, normally like a terminal, they uh, normally uh, perform online analytic, uh, which is uh, always uh, active all the time. So, or they produce uh, reports, they produce uh, dashboard, scorecard, and so on. So basically all starting from this data to produce as input and they are generating the output in the form of user interface so that the manager can make uh, accurate decision for their business organization. So there are six, uh, there are six elements of business intelligence uh, uh, in the business intelligence environment. So business intelligence in organization, normally you can, uh, you can analyze it using many types of software. For example, Oracle, SAP, SAS, or Hadoop or even uh, Cognos by IBM. So these are all software uh, to execute business intelligence in the organization. So basically it starts from data. So that's the first element, it is the data, the raw material, and it is the infrastructure to hold it, house it, or to manage it. And later you need certain software like uh, Hadoop or ACS to uh, analyze it. This is what we call a tool set. Right, and you need uh, the user, which is the manager or the uh, executive that use uh, the system and certain type of method in order to process it. And the platform they engage is MIS, DSS, and EISS. And of course, they have output that can be seen on uh, the interface, for example, dashboard, production report, uh, <clears throat> predictive, and, uh, predictive analysis report, and so on. <clears throat> so basically, business intelligence and business analytics uh, has few capabilities, right? So normally, it is uh, to deliver the accurate real-time information or result uh, to decision makers in the form of, for example, this is the dashboard. The dashboard is normally a flat screen and it is programmed to show graphical output in the form of graph, or in the form of a pie chart, for example, sales by region, or in the form of uh, this uh, radar meter in terms of perhaps a performance uh, of sales or in terms of line graph. So this is what they call as dashboard. Or they can, uh, <clears throat> software system like uh, business intelligence analytic, they can also produce uh, production reports, for example, like this, uh, output uh, sales uh, every day, so it is being plotted, so you can see which one perform better and which, uh, which one perform less. <clears throat> or they can <clears throat> create like scenario and model in the form of like quadrant. So which uh, customer from which quadrant that uh, spend the most, so they can model it uh, out so that they can improve a better approach uh, in the next uh, season of sales. Well, it is uh, <clears throat> normally thought that 80% of business intelligence are uh, casual uh, users relying on production report. In other words, uh, most business intelligence, uh, they are producing the report, either production report or meeting report. So in the form of like this, it is a compilation of statistical data in the form of uh, numbers and in the form of a chart, a simple chart, for example. However, executive will use for monitoring, right? For middle managers, they will uh, use for uh, impromptu analysis or on the spot. For impressional employees, they can track their uh, backlog. So those pending delivery, for example. So, and for employee managers can uh, uh, be monitored uh, on their productivity, for example. So these are uh, the most uh, usual uh, application of BI 
mostly 80%, they will be using it for daily production report or monthly report or weekly report. This is how it looks uh, in terms of uh, category of uh, users, like IT developer, they develop their IT system, uh, super user, they uh, use it uh, by normally by important person, uh, business analyst, uh, normally, uh, uh, normally applied by managers or staff, and analytical modeler, normally by business uh, consultant. So on their capability for IT develop developers, normally they produce production report for the super users uh, like senior manager, CEO, managing director, normally they like uh, the output in the form of a dashboard or scorecards for uh, analytical model like business consultant, they normally use for forecasting. So these are different, different type of business intelligence user that are using uh, information system for business decision making. The first important uh, application for business intelligence in, in company is production report. So production re report is basically reporting daily activities like sales report, uh, perhaps uh, payment uh, reports. So these are considered daily report and these are the most widely used and this report normally uh, could be generated uh, by Oracle system or by SAP system. So this report normally could be generated by the ERP system itself. So normally in the sales de department, they can monitor the uh, team members' performance, uh, sales of every day, every week, or every month, or even every year. And by then, they can forecast for the next year performance. For example, in human human resource, uh, from the uh, from the daily report they, uh, by Oracle or SAP, they can monitor employee absenteeism, uh, productivity, and also uh, compensation uh, value for each uh, employee every year or every month. So these are uh, the uh, major use of business intelligence in company normally to monitor daily activities report. As far as the as far as weekly report, monthly report, or even daily report. Second, uh, second uh, type of use for BI business intelligence is predictive analysis. <laughs> Normally, you need a special uh, system uh, software in order to predict uh, the uh, uh, predict like uh, uh, forecasting for sales uh, next month or forecasting for sales next year. So you need the statistical analytic capability uh, of the software like Hadoop or Cognos and they can mine your data. Uh, in other words, they can uh, process your data based on historical record, based on perhaps last two years, uh, this year, and they are doing projection for next year. So of course, they need to engage some assumption in order to do projection for next year. Uh, the third type of application for business intelligence is big data analytics. Big data analytics uh, normally uh, is being used for marketing purposes uh, to market your product or market your service. And the software that can run uh, big data analytics normally uh, Hadoop or Hunch. So what do, what do this software do like Hadoop, Hunch or Cognos? Uh, they uh, basically uh, take the huge data set uh, from many uh, in uh, many channel from social media or from on, uh, from online transaction purchase uh, from even in store customer data purchase and so on so they process it in a typical format and help to create the real time uh, uh, depiction of the uh, actual transaction for example, real-time purchase, right? Uh, they show it uh, on the dashboard and uh, perhaps they improve the personalized shopping experience for each customer, right? So these are the uh, bigger advantage of data analytics in which to strengthen the marketing aspect of the business organization. Another application for BI, business analytics is, uh, for example, like for GIS system, uh, geographic information system, they call it GIS, and this is normally uh, to see the mapping of certain geographical location, for example, like this map, uh, for example, 
on this map, uh, it shows the contour of a certain uh, location. Uh, perhaps this is a river, right? So GIS system could make projection if disaster happen. For example, if the rain is keep continuing uh, pouring uh, water for three days, how uh, much volume uh, added water will make this river increase so that the flooding uh, will be overflow to this uh, side of the bank. So from there, uh, go government uh, authority can predict if the monsoon season uh, keep pouring rain for three days or five days, so as much as this white area will be flooding. So evacuation can be planned and managed uh, so that population uh, will have uh, less problem in handling the flooding, uh, the flooding area. So software that normally used for GIS is like this, Up GIS by S3. So these are uh, popular software that is um, uh, executing BI application for GIS. Actually, there are many application for uh, business intelligence and uh, business analytic. Uh, among others is uh, to use it for decision support system, which is to make uh, a decision by uh, numerical or statistical support, for example, in what if analysis. What if analysis can be done by any spreadsheet software, for example, like Excel or Lotus 1, 2, 3. So any spreadsheet can do that kind of analysis. What if the cost increase, uh, what is the price uh, you should uh, shell to customers should be, and it doesn't affect your break even. For example, this uh, spreadsheet uh shows the sensitivity analysis right so in order to have a break even point break even point means that your sales right equal to your expenses right so it is just to break even so that you don't uh, incur loss so since break even equal to fixed cost divided by price manual variable cost so you have the uh, price here okay you have the very variable cost here and you have the uh, sales uh, to uh, to target for, right? So if your total fixed cost is nineteen thousand and your variable cost per unit is uh, three dollar, you must sell uh, your product at average sales uh, price of seventeen dollar, and by that you will have the contribution contribution margin fourteen dollar, and that will achieve your break even one thousand three hundred fifty seven. So it means that if your cost is $3, so you have to sell at least uh, $17, uh, $17 per product, and that will make your break even $1357, right? So if you sell at higher product, then you get, if you sell at a higher price, then you can get higher profit margin. So this is what sensitivity analysis is all about. Well, you can get it done by using uh, mostly spreadsheet software. ESS, uh, Executive uh, Support System. Normally, this is for big boss, uh, like senior managers, uh, managing director, CEO. And normally, they take care of this uh, four dimension, the financial dimension, the business process dimension, and the customer, uh, and also the learning and growth aspect of the organization. So basically, this is a uh, balance scorecard BIC is by Professor Kaplan and Norton. And this is to strengthen the strategy and objective of the company. And they take a look on the financial, the business process, the learning and growth, and also customer, including customer satisfaction. So this is to have a balanced performance outlook in terms of customer, in terms of your uh, cash flow, in terms of your growth for future, in terms of improving your internal business process. Well, business process management, BPM, uh, actually there are more domain to look at, right? Uh, so that you could uh, improve your business process. You can do it by software. You can do it by this uh, B, uh, BSC framework, right? That can be done. Uh, by IT system and software which is available in the market. And to have a group, uh, better group decision process, you need support system in order to uh, perform well 
business operation in Malaysia, business operation in uh, US, business operation in Japan. In case if you are working in multinational company, you have to uh, decide by group, which is uh, the, your global group business. By that, I end my lecture on enhancing decision making. Basically, managers make decisions supported by IT system so that they can make accurate and effective decision for their business operation. I stop by thanking you for your attention. Thank you.